people do stuff and then instead of doing stuff. It's my kind of night. Right? I was a really, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, right? That's what that stands for. Bloody well. Um, unless you're on Craigslist, and then that stands for Big Black Cock. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing you should know before you peruse Catholic encounters. Because everyone's face is going to be red in the end. Whoops. Yeah, right? She knows. She knows. She's been duped also. Huh? So embarrassing. But no, actually my favorite channel is HBO. Anyone here love Game of Thrones like I do? You guys know what's up. Fuck. Anyone who hasn't seen Game of Thrones, like, I envy your life. Because you have all that to look forward to, and we have shit. Alright? We have nothing until next season. And if you're like, what's Game of Thrones? What's that about? Like, if you watched Lord of the Rings, and you were like, wow, this is beautiful. I really enjoy all this. Uh, it's like that, but like, if you're like, but what it needs is like a lot of nudity and a little bit of incest. That's Game of Thrones. It's a show for you. It's fun for the whole family. Which is important. Um, and another show, it's a late night show. I don't know who's a racy crowd. Uh, it's called Cat House. Anyone? Yeah, yeah. yeah, she knows. You're my girl right here. I like you. I like you. For those of you that don't know, it kind of speaks higher to your character, let's be honest. Uh, it's a show about the Nevada brothel, the Bunny Ranch, you know? Right? <laughs> He's really stoked on that, and I dig it. I dig it. Uh, you know, the ins and outs the ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs of the business. Uh, this episode had a new girl, a fresh face, so to speak, amongst other things. And she was like, doing her interview, and she's like, well, my specialty is anal. That's not that special. That's where you work. Uh, and she was like, I could juggle and do calculus. I'd be like, what are you doing in a whorehouse? Uh, but then she kept going, right? And she was like, but I don't do any oral sex at all. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what? Really? In this economy? <laughs> We're just hiring people not willing to do the work. It's on American. I'm pretty sure most of these dudes, like, on business trips, could, like, negotiate no blowjob sex at home with their wives. <laughs> You're like, I hate kids. So, like, you don't see me working in a daycare just fucking neglecting them, right? That's not, that's not a thing you should do. You know, she actually even pointed out another chick for one of the guys who wanted a blow jeep. Was, uh, she was like, oh, see, she, um, she's really good at it, and you can tell because she wears a pearl necklace. And, like, I, didn't, I don't mean semen. I mean, like, an actual strand of pearls around her neck. Right? And, like, you can't, like, because, like, honestly, I feel like the porn industry has us a little bit brainwashed to believe certain things, you know? Like, that all girls love sperm. It's not, it's not, it's an acquired taste, you guys. It's like coffee or beer. Some women just never grow a taste for it. They swear it off altogether. Now, technically, we label them as lesbians, but that's fine. You know, it's their choice. That's okay. You know, it even changes, like, the way we just, like, view things. Like, I don't know, ladies, like, it ruins wearing pigtails in day-to-day -day life. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. You can have the unfuckable trifecta of, like, Crocs, sweatpants, fanny pack. Right? That one. But if you go up, you're like, oh, shit, she got pigtails. <laughs> She's down to party. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're even not, because, yeah, they're going to sue it. They'll make the motion. <laughs> Which is so attractive, and you're just like, oh my god, who's been reading my diary? How'd you know? I totally want to get face fucked. But you know, nine times out of ten, you don't. That's not something you do on a whim. You gotta plan that, you know? Mascara's gonna run, it's out of control. And even the way, like, that we groom, right? I watch a lot of pornography, not just, like, new porn, you know, not just the new cool stuff. I like the old school, you know, the bow chicky wow wow with, like, amazing storylines. Because back in the day, it used to just be like, well, all right, just trim it so that no one's, like, tripping on it <laughs> or choking, you know? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, but it was very, it was very present, you know? Uh, and now, sweet Christ, it's like, let's just fucking wax it and bleach it and glitter it, right? Because a vagina is not awesome enough. What brings you into this world isn't awesome enough on its own. Let's fucking put glitter and bedazzle it. 
respect, like, how much we gotta go through for that to happen. It's fucking harsh. And the person I was talked into it, my coworker talked me into it, she's, she sold it like it was an infomercial, getting your vagina waxed. She was like, girl, just think of all the time you're gonna save, now that you don't have to shave your vagina. <laughs>
guys you never, ever turn a garden hose on inside a car. No, <laughs> <laughs> and Seventeen Magazine didn't prepare me for that. I feel like, I feel like it should've. I feel like it should've.